we can prevent such war in future. Therefore, United Nations has been established. Therefore, uh, inter, uh, interstate hotline is active. Therefore, uh, people are agree to disagree. That is uh, through diplomatic channel, uh, the world population is trying to solve their problem. So without that particular historical study, we cannot uh, invent uh, up to that current diplomatic norms. Then ethnographic study or research. Ethnographic uh, research is conducted on a particular uh, race of people, uh, a particular uh, to know, know different factors of their ethnicity. Ethnographic study is a qualitative method for collecting data often used in the social or behavioral sciences. Uh, for example, why uh, white people are more talented or why uh, to, um, the Europeans are white in color, skin, why Asians or Africans are black. So based on geographical location, or ethnicity, why people's behavior and physical fitness, uh, skin color or height is uh, differing. This sort of study could be termed as ethnographic study. Correlation study. In correlation study, the name says the study conducted to identify interrelationship between two or more variables. And it is known as correlation study it is a quantitative method of study and which, which study at least two or more variables to identify the relationship between uh, variable one and variable two. For example, uh, a company, while it is, uh, there are two companies, one company is operating by a group of smart business graduates Another company is operating by a group of scientists or science graduates. While that particular one company is doing performing better, other one is comparatively low. In such case, we can conduct a study. Uh, is there any correlations between performing better company is operating or administrating by business graduates through business policies, through their marketing knowledge, through their innovative ideas, presentation, branding, promotion. But while science graduates are operating a company, then it is uh, doing uh, comparatively uh, performing lower and they are using their scientific knowledge to operate the company. Uh, so is there any relationship between discipline uh, or academic background and performance of the company or behavior of the company if we would like to study this sort of uh, research, then we can term it as, as a correlational research. Grounded theory research. Grounded theory is a systematic methodology in the social science to involve construction of a new theory through analysis of data. Grounded theory is mainly an academic theory, academic sort of research, it is uh, analyze historical or classical data, analyze those to develop a new theory, grounded theory, then phenomenological study. Phenomenological study or research is a study that attempts to understand people's perception or per perspective and understanding for a particular situation or phenomenon. For example, now the second wave of COVID virus is going through Bangladesh. So if we uh, want to know uh, what general people, mass people is thinking about the COVID and whether they are supporting the lockdown or shutdown program uh, throwing by the government or not. If that particular group what is their perception about lockdown and is it uh, working to control or to prevent infection or not? In this study, among the, if we conduct this sort of study among the mass people, then we can turn 
it as a phenomenological study, the explanatory research. Again, explanatory research is defined to attempt uh, to connect ideas to understand the cause and effects uh, and of the research. There are two variables. One may be cause, another one may be effect. For example, if someone is infected by COVID virus, then uh, he may feel fever. So the cause here is infection by the virus and effect is the fe feeling fevers or rising temperature in his body. So this is uh, explanatory study to explain the cause of feeling the fever. Predictive study or forecasting study. Predictive study is a scientific process of study research where empirical data or a set of data set is uh, used to forecast this uh, pre-happening uh, forecasting, whether this sort of event will occur or not. For example, weather forecasting or uh, earthquake forecasting or cyclone or uh, tornado forecasting. This sort of forecasting uses uh, empirical data uh, or day-to-day -day data collected uh, from different rather grounded station, ground station, and they analyze this data temperature uh, and the weather and heat. Th then they come to a point whether uh, today rain will be there, storm will be there. Uh, this sort of weather forecasting or tornado forecasting, this forecasting are doing based on particular empirical uh, concurrent data. If we can, uh, we would like to focus about a particular company uh, and this company is performing 10% growth during last five years, then uh, if other factors are constant, then we can say in sixth year, it will perform 10% or plus growth. If there is a way this company has performed better while uh, they are uh, operating, by a business graduate, I mean, they perform 10% and while the management changes, then they perform 11%. Then we can say, we can focus again while the management from the science uh, faculty will come, they will perform better. But this sort of uh, previous, uh, in, uh, previous event or previous data analysis and based on previous experience, forecasting something in uh, advance could be termed as predictive research. So this was in the first part about the types of research. Then, and now let's come to the point, uh, why these types of research should know in depth? While we select a particular topic for conducting research, then we must know what sort of research could be best defeating for this, uh, for conducting uh, to get the optimum outcome from that particular research. So to do this, we have to study about the features of each sort of research. So in the feature part, let's start with action research. Action research consideration of action and reflection, reconciliation, this sort of research, while we would like to conduct or implement an action to improve the performance of an individual company or individual roles or individual practice uh, to use data collection on in a particular action, then we can say this is action sort of research and this research should be conducted uh, as an action research, should be designed as an action research. For example, a review of action to consideration data. Uh, in example, we can say a, a company is performing poor during last two years but previously it was performing better. So to identify what should be done 
to bring